All right, well, hello, hello, Ty. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes to answer some questions. Oh, your, sure. Yeah, for your uh, first round of track. <laughs> so thank you so much, so much. So let me get my questions here in front of me so I don't, you know, yes. lose my place here. So first question, have you seen an uptick in units and volume with the agents since starting track? We have. I mean, it was a 12-week program. We got a few agents that really committed to it, and those that committed have excelled in their in their sales with it. So yes, we've definitely seen an uptick. And I want to say it's on the key people that commit. If they don't commit, they're not going to see the results. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You can't have one foot in, one foot out. Right. <laughs> so decide and be there. All right. Um, have you seen a culture of production, competition, and camaraderie since starting track? Yeah, because they see the name up there, like, oh my gosh, they made so many contacts, like, I could do that. And then, you know, just doing that, I think when you do the accountability calls, and the ones who aren't doing the work begin not to show up, yeah. and the ones that are actually wanting to do the work, they're starting to be the ones like, all right, you're, you're finally catching the head. Which yeah, I yeah. Cool. And I think for the next round, I'll do a little bit more of that, right? So kind of showcasing what people are doing, because I think yeah. people just need to understand that it is possible. And yes. if this person can do it, then so can you, right? So yes. I'll I'll do more of that kind of next time and get kind of people, you know, awesome. and excited. Awesome. So, so what do you think, now that you've been with the locker room for a few months, what do you think separates us from maybe some other coaching companies that you've had some experience with? I've been with four different coach companies over the last 10 years and you know, five now, actually. Um, one of them was eight years. The other were one year each. And um, why I chose the locker room to like truly partner with is because you guys have a, a whole set of tools that I can come in as a team leader and, you know, use and not have to, Hey, where's this, where's that? It's like all, everything's there. It's not in a Google drive or I need to find it. It's in a very simple system to be able to find things and use. And, you know, you guys are ever involving, you know, what was one of my, my big questions is do you guys keep the content updated? And, you know, the, the stuff is getting changed every, as it, as it needs to be, which is great. So it's not what was done 10 years ago, still working today. No, what's working 10 years ago might work today, but we've got better things happening. Right. Right. That's huge. That, that was, that was an yeah. issue I, I used to have. So I'm yeah. so glad that you mentioned that. <laughs> yeah. So what would you tell somebody who um, was on the fence about implementing track into their business for their agents? You know, what I liked about track is it's like the, the, the book is already there. I mean, it's like, here's your book. This is what you get when you sign up and, you know, 35 bucks on Amazon, whatever the price was, I don't need to recreate it. Um, and I want to do a training session in my office. I want to get like, you know, as we're ever onboarding agents, if they come in eight weeks in, you know, they can catch the last four weeks, but definitely dive into January 1st when we start right. our next one. Um, it's, I'm not recreating the wheel. I think that's the biggest thing with everything. If I got to recreate it, it's not going to happen. I could probably create something just as good, if not better or a little less. Um, but why do that when it's already done? Yeah. You know, and something that's working. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the key, right? I was going to say that's a pro it's a proven system. I mean, it's, yep. it, you know, it's been done and stuff like that before. So that's awesome. And, and, then, and you and I can talk to more um, later, Todd, about what these calls could look like, because I know that you are constantly bringing agents in. So yep. we need to kind of change the call a little bit. So it's more of just accountability, not necessarily per week. And we can always have agents kind of jumping in. Okay. Um, but we okay. wouldn't, we would need that participation so that we yes, weren't. Yeah, we kind talked of about that today at our team meeting. Yeah, what to, yeah. What to expect with track the next six weeks. And because um, I went over the 19 things in real estate today. And so we dove into that at the team meeting for a little bit and just gave everyone the sheet. So it's like, this is the high level version. Right. You know, those of you who haven't taken it yet, you'll be able to dive in in January. Um, this and, and they were asking some questions, which you know I didn't have 100% answers to um, about what it looks like. Is there homework or anything and all that? But I'm like, this is going to be her going over stuff on the Monday calls at 3.30. And, yeah, and, and, the, and based on the way that we're going to do these next six weeks, it may work for you to, to do them like I'm going to be doing them um, yeah. when we go forward with track. So I did okay. change the order a little bit um, in the 19 things. I grouped things together. I thought made more sense, kind of changed Perfect. it around so that we can kind of focus on one generic topic, you know, several top, you know, key, key ideas per topic. Um, okay. So that should, you know, that should be really great. And you guys are close enough. I could probably do like an in-person launch. So you guys just let oh, me know. That'd be awesome. Yeah. And I can come down. You're not too far. So we can definitely. No, we're two hours. We're close. 
yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. So we'll talk about that. Okay, perfect. <laughs> awesome. Perfect. And then the last thing I wanted to ask you was how has this experience um, changed your life as a whole? I know you were very, very much involved in track and, and we appreciate yeah. when the leaders do that. So how has it changed your life for you as a whole? Well, I want to be involved in it because I want to know what my agents are doing. Um, I can't tell you to take a training and, and, and tell you how good a training is if I haven't taken it because I can only pitch on what Melissa's said about it. So I wanted to get in, take it and understand it. And it's a commitment. I mean, you've got you've got to dive in. And 20 years in the business, I've learned a lot from it as well. So I'm glad I did it. And because there's other things that now I can talk on and have some collaboration with the agents on about, hey, what did you learn in week 10? You know, and I'll learn more as we get into the next four four versions of this next year. Um, and I'm talking to agents about training that we offer and other stuff. Um, I will tell you the two things that I, I like. We're doing the business planning event tomorrow, the agent action plan. Yes. And the very last, I don't know if it's the last second or last page, your success story and your your apology letter. Um, that should be in track. I, I don't know if it's in the first week of track or not, but it should it be is. like, if I don't do this, this is what happened. If yes. I'm successful, then honey, we get the beach house and honey, we can pay the kids college off. Hey, honey, we can do this. Or um, if I don't do this, guess what? We got to sell the beach house or we've got to sell the, uh, the the car. Guess what? I'm getting a job at Starbucks and becoming the realtor barista, you know? Yeah. Um, so it's, it's, I love the apology letter and the success letter. Those are two things that I think every real estate agent should do the minute they get, a, get their license. Yeah. Um, yeah. It is in week one. Yeah, so that's perfect. Yeah. I mean, I've, I'm, again, that's why I need to, to stay involved in it because I can learn that and be more educated on the whole thing. Um, because I mean, there's 12 weeks and there's, I mean, we're obviously as a team leader involved in a lot of things and I like to know everything that's going on. Um, just left a meeting with my marketing uh, girl in the, in the room next door and um, she's like, wait, we have that? I'm like, yeah, but it's things that I have everything internalized. I don't have it, you know, they don't know all of it because if we don't use it for a while, then, you know, might yeah. not be there. they might not, don't, they don't need to know about it. Yeah, you know, and that may be a great idea to bring up when we launch this again is having agents not only do that for for maybe, you know, for the future. So when if, if and when or if they don't reach their goals, they pull those letters out, but for track. So if you guys are going to yeah. commit and, com you know, for the next 12, 13 weeks or whatever, what do you want to see out of this? What do you want to accomplish out of this program? And yes. write those down. Maybe everybody sends it to me so I can, you know, remind everybody and then write the, hey, if, if you don't do it, you know, what does it look like for you? Who are you going to be saying yeah. sorry to, right? So I think that's a really great point you bring up to maybe do it for their career and for the program because that, yeah. that could help them. That just needs to be part of your agent onboarding. I mean, like you're, yeah. <laughs> I, want you, I want you to write a success letter and an apology letter. Your success letters to, to you that you were successful in it. The apology letters to me that, sorry, I can't stay in the team because I didn't hit my goal. I didn't do it as I was supposed to to be successful right. in this business. You leave right. my team, it means you're going to get a job. You're not going into another company. And yeah. if you come in and you do what you're supposed to, you're going to be successful. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's awesome. Yeah. Anything else you care to share um, before? I just had a couple of questions. I don't want to keep yeah. you so long. <laughs> no, I, I think it's, I mean, try, the whole locker room coaching program is awesome. Um, Jake Dixon and, and Chris and all of them have done a great job with it. Um, I've aligned myself with two awesome coaches, yourself and, and Ruben, um, who keep the, the motivation going. You're not, you, you're never showing up as a negative. Um, and you know, even when I'm coming to you with kind of like annoyed, you're still like, yeah, it's great. You know, it's like, okay, cool. You know, whatever. Always positive. <laughs> um, but I just think there's so much there that like, I need to spend a weekend just going through it too, because there's, there's a lot that I can use and utilize. Um, cause it is another business, yeah. um, that we can pull stuff from to, to push from. Yeah. And so, and just to let you know, the 19 things I am pulling all of the resources we have that match with, with the theme so that agents will have those resources to use and rely on and go back to, awesome. um, to use. Yeah. So they, so they don't have to go digging for it, even though it's relatively easy to find, I'll make sure I have those things pulled for them. So we'll, we'll be kind of, um, good to go. Okay, cool. Sounds awesome. All right. All right. Well, that's how, thank you so much for doing yeah. this. I appreciate your time. No problem. Anytime. Talk to you soon. All right. Talk to you Monday. later. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye. Bye.